Hello everyone, my name is Sayanath Reddy, currently pursuing BTEC in AML branch. As a part of my internship under SmartBridge, I have completed a machine learning project. Title is Hematovision, a blood cell classification using transfer learning. In this project, I have built a deep learning model to classify blood cells into mainly four types. And I have developed a Flask web application for real-time image processing. The main problem statement and objective is uh, to automate the process of identifying and class classifying blood cells, which is uh, essential in diagnosing various diseases. And the model classifies a given microscopic image into four categories as discussed earlier. Now let's see uh, what data set we have used and what's the model, how we train the model. Mainly we have taken the data set from the Kaggle. The data set, it contains thousands of labeled images under the four classes. Uh, the structures includes folders like train and test and within them. So this is the, so from here we can download the training and test data. And we have developed a model in the Jupyter notebook. So this is the Jupyter Notebook. And firstly, we have imported all the uh, libraries required. And we also imported the trained, uh, trained data set. And we also performed augmentation to increase the data set. And finally, we also created model. In this model building, I have used the MobileNet V2, a pre-trained CSN CNN model through transfer learning. In, in here, uh, I froze the base layers and added a dropout layer for regularization. And I mainly trained this for a uh, 10 epochs. Let's see the 10 epochs. See, we have trained this up to 10 epochs and with a learning rate of 0 0.001. After we have created the model and trained with our data, we finally saved our model with the command model.save blood cell h5. After that, we also evaluated the results uh, using the confusion matrix and also the curves of accuracy and loss curves. So this is about the model development and evolution. And now let's see the web publication. For this, I have developed a simple web application using Flask. So yes, for backend, we have used the Flask. The frontend is created using the simple HTML and the styled CSS. So basically, the code for frontend part is here. So this is the HTML code and CSS code for the home page. Let's see the web page. Taking for the time. So this is the code for home HTML and this is the code for uh, output page which demonstrates the class of the image and this is the backend code which we have used a flask. See in here first we have imported all the libraries we have required and also loaded the model dead cell dot hf and after that we have imported the images And this is the backend code. Now seal is the. So see, this is the home home page of our of our website. Now let's use the image.
So let's select one of the images and let's spread it. See, this is the result HTML page. It's uh, showing that predicted class is neutrophil. And we can also upload another image and same as before. See, on open, you can also click predict. See, this is also a snuffle. Let's take another class. This is the neutrophil. So this is the main uh, page up of, of our website. And we have already seen the required code for this uh, backend. And this is the code for result HTML. And this is the home page HTML. Now let's see the GitHub repo for this. Here we mainly uploaded the project document and we have we are, we, we are going to be uploaded video and it also contains the folder called project files. It contains backend, frontend and model training codes and the results and training data etc. So based on all this this project helped me understand practical applications of uh, transfer learning and model deployment. And also I got a hands-on experience with uh, mobile net v2, flash web development and confusion matrix, etc. So I would like to thank smart intents and the mentors for this opportunity. I hope my project meets the requirements and is helpful for medical image analysis. Thank you very much.